<laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Milk. It's episode number 25 of The Tuesday Show with Milk. CJ and Ted. Milk. Milk indeed. Milk. It's all about milk. 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 Can you milk a duck? I do not know. Well, we'll find out a little bit later. Coming up. Coming up. Ted milks a duck. CJ does a cat impression. And we both spend the episode saying milk. 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 <laughs> Hi. Hey, CJ. Hey, Ted. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Good. How good. are you? I'm good, thanks. Are you a fan of milk? I have no particular Wait, feelings. Would you drink it? I, I drink milk, yeah. Uh, would you be disappointed if you never had uh, milk again? No. Would you be disappointed if you never had cheese? Oh, I'd, absolutely. Would you be disappointed if you were a vegan? Uh, yeah, I'd probably kill myself. Would you be disappointed? <laughs> um, would you be <laughs> In fact, it's actually a very good point. I don't know whether I should say this, but, you know, there's lots of people who say, oh, do you know what? We're, we are the scourge of the earth. Mm. They don't do the... Oh, hang on. I can't even say this now. Are you about to insult all the vegans in the world? No, I wasn't. Because they are the scourge of the no, earth. No, I was, I was going to talk about having, like, a death cult. So all the people that were, <laughs> are, are bothered about the fact that we are the scourge of the earth, uh, why don't they do the decent thing? But... <laughs> but... <laughs> Um, so we're here. Yes, this is we episode are. number twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. Milk, milk, indeed. So we're going to be talking about milk. Yes, we are. Uh, but we're also going to be playing some music, and we shall be playing music. Music. Oh, oh get... yeah, I see what you're doing. Music. There. Music. Well, I was actually trying to figure out how to <laughs> tie milk and music together, and I ended up going music. <laughs> <laughs> like some weirdo. <laughs> music. <laughs> Play the music. Music. <laughs> Moo moo. No. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> anyway, no bull. It's all about cows. Yes. It's all about milk. And um, I'll tell you what, let's have some music, shall we? Sure. Let's have the first track. Uh, the first track. The, the first, first track. First track on <laughs> the Tuesday show. I don't know what happened there. I'll start <laughs> convulsing like a something. You, you, I think what you, need to, you need to sit down and have some milk. Yes, um, milk. Get off your horse and drink some milk. <laughs> Why have you even got a horse in the studio? We'll find out later. Uh, but now we've got Carrie Cleveland with Love Will Set You Free.
That was quite funky. That was Carrie Cleveland with Love Will Set You Free. Brand new for the Tuesday show. Yeah. Tuesday show. Dun, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, it's like making up jingles on the spot. Yeah, absolutely. Jingles on the spot. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. No, they're, they're all going to sound quite dramatic, don't they? Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Don't drink that milk. Don't drink that milk. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Teacher, leave that milk alone. <laughs> hey, teacher, <laughs> leave that milk alone. All we know <laughs> is just uh, some more milk on the wall. <laughs> some more milk on the wall. Yeah. Oh, dear. All no. we know is someone poured some milk, milk in the fridge. Or on the floor. On the floor. On the yeah. floor, like, yeah. yeah. Hey, we've got a hit bowl. record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should do that. So, like, 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 Christmas number one last year was that um, um, Starship cover. Uh, Starship. We, we built this city on Sausage Rolls. Oh, yes, yeah. Um, maybe we should do that for Christmas number one. Let, let's find a song, yeah. have parody it, and yeah. we can get to Christmas number one. Yeah. I think we should do that. With milk. Yeah, Milk yeah. Floyd. Yeah. So... Milk Floyd. We call it Milk Floyd, yep. <laughs> <laughs> An- another milk in the bowl. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think yeah. that could work. Yeah, okay. F- from the album, The Bowl. Right. Where are we going to get the milk from? Um, so I was having an interesting conversation hmm. uh, the other day. It was about sheep. No, goats. Right. And it was about goats and sheep uh-huh. and how they were basically uh, of a similar type. Okay. Now, I don't think they're actually from the same family, are they? Sheep and goats. Not, yeah, no, no, not, no. Not but basically, I was told, well, they're pretty much the same because, well, you can you can milk them both. Right. Now, I immediately laughed. <laughs> <laughs> What's the thought of milking a sheep? Well, yes. <laughs> but I was wrong. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. In fact, you can milk a sheep. Has anyone ever done that? <laughs> it gets done. Okay. Believe me. <laughs> so I so I looked into it, and yes, you can. Goat, goat. <laughs> you can go to sheep, and you can milk a goat. Uh, go- yes, you can milk a goat. Obviously, you can milk a sheep. Okay, this is actually a thing. Now, let me have a look. I'm going to Wikipedia. Okay, and I'm looking at milk, milk, milk. So humans first learn to consume milk. Oh no, that's not the best amount of sheep, but you can milk sheep. And apparently, is it at Rockford cheese? Okay. I think that is made from sheep's milk. Is that sheep's milk? Okay. Yeah. I was told mm. that. It may not be true. Okay. I may have heard that wrong. But, yeah. So that got me thinking about all sorts of different types of milk. Because mm. we only think about milk in terms of cow's milk, maybe goat's milk. It's like cow's, goat's, coconut. Coconut milk. Um, I hadn't even thought of coconut milk. Uh, but that's a kind of a different thing. <laughs> So anyway, it turns out that sheep milk is actual, actually a thing. It's a thing, yeah. It is a thing, and so that got me to thinking about other kinds of milk. Right. Other animals where we get milk from. So there's milk from cows, obviously. Yep. What were the other things? Goats. Um, goats sheep. Sheep. Camels. Okay. That's true. Right. Water buffalo. Yeah. Now, when I have to point out, when I say this, I do mean for human consumption. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now, obviously, all mammals... <laughs> I think all mammals. Yeah, all mammals produce milk. Yep. Yeah. What about whales? Yeah, they produce milk to feed their Do they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. It's the characteristic of being a mammal is being able to produce milk. Yeah, I got that, but I thought, well, you know, it would just get washed away in the water, wouldn't it? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen a, a, a young whale calf feeding. No, no, neither have I. Mind you, it's not the sort of thing that you see in I'll Northamptonshire. Not, I'll say, let's be honest, it's not the kind of thing I search for on the internet, so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, donkeys. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. I think it's probably good for vitamin E or. <laughs> <laughs> get out. Just get out and just leave. <laughs> God's sake. Um, horse. Okay. We can drink horse milk? No, I've, I've seen a, a horse being milked, but not in the way that you're talking about. Okay. Reindeer. Okay. You can get reindeer milk. That doesn't surprise me. You can milk a reindeer. Which makes me wonder about Father Christmas. <laughs> You know, because people... Well, not like that. We know what he's but, drinking throughout the year. Well, yeah, but this is the thing. Why Why do we leave milk and carrots out when he's got his own milk machine with him? <laughs> Surely what we should actually do is just leave out more carrots. Because the more carrots they have, the more milk they produce. Yeah, that's true, yeah. The but, less milk we have to give to Father Christmas. But maybe he likes to, you know, he likes to change and fancy some cow's milk. Well, maybe. You know. It's like going to your favourite pub all the time and always ordering the same thing. If you then go to a different pub, yeah, you may want something different because they haven't got your usual 
Well, I've never ordered reindeer milk at the pub. Well, me neither. Uh, I've never ordered any milk in a pub, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> um, um, yeah. Yeah. Duck. Milk milk of magnesia. That's not milk. I don't know what that is. Um, it sounds so anyway, like a, yak. Think, uh, that's an American thing, isn't it? Milk also on the list. Also on the list. Yaks. Yak. Yak. Okay. Uh, is I, that where yak old comes from? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. But you get uh, yak's milk, yak's cheese. Okay. I think wherever you get cheese, you get milk. Mm. No, wherever you get milk, you get cheese. Yes. So, um, <laughs> so can you milk a cat? Can you can you milk a cat? Now, this seems to be a very popular search term because when I was looking into this, I thought, oh, can you milk a can you milk a sheep? Yeah. First thing that comes up, can you milk a cat? <laughs> awesome. And do you know what I looked and ultimately, yes, of course you can. You can milk anything. Yeah. Well, I mean, not a. Uh, not a but you can't milk a bird. Can you milk a bird? I wouldn't have thought so because they don't produce no, milk they don't for their produce young. Milk, no. So I don't know why I doubted myself. Though. <laughs> also, not only have we got the the camels, the donkeys, the horse. Mm. According to Wikipedia, yeah, swine are almost never milked. Almost never. Almost never. Which yeah, means that someone somewhere was milking a swine. Yes, that's right. Even though their <laughs> milk is similar to cow's milk and perfectly suitable for human consumption, the main reasons for this is that milking a sow's numerous small teats, teats, uh, is a very teats. <laughs> teats. <laughs> it's very cumbersome. Right. Uh, so it's a bit too cumbersome for milking a, a, a pig, right. and that sows cannot store their milk as cows can. Right, okay. I don't understand what that means. Well, cows just, it all just sits in a big bag underneath there. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah, them, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good point, yeah. yeah. pigs aren't the same. I say, they haven't got, like, a row of bottles or anything. No, it's not. Uh, a few pig farms do sell pig cheese as a novelty item. Mm. These cheeses are exceedingly expensive. I bet they are. Yeah. But I bet they taste great. Do you I, think? I imagine it just tastes like bacon. Oh, interesting. Yeah, would, like yeah bacon-flavoured cheese. Would you want bacon-flavoured cheese, though? Yeah. Would you want bacon flavored milk? Yeah. Bacon flavor any mate, bacon is the cure. Yeah. It's you know, no no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the cure for veganism and vegetarianism. Yeah. You know? People just don't realise this. So bacon flavour anything is good. You yeah. Know? I can't yeah. think of a single bacon flavour thing that I don't like. Yeah. So yeah. So anyway, um <clears throat> <clears throat> yes, you can milk a cat. And do you know what? I'm going to tell you how you can milk a cat, and I'll tell you the circumstances as <laughs> where you might feel ne- <laughs> necessary to milk a cat. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Uh, what about, what about? After this short musical break, um, <laughs> perhaps you'd like to introduce our next track. And so the next track that we've got is brand new for the show. It's an artist we've had before, uh, mm-hmm. this is Perez, uh, but it's a brand new track from them. This one is called Gemini. I cool. love my life, wouldn't trade it for no one else's. I hate my life, wishing I could kill you and be you. I'm off the nights, but can't be a dick of rhymes. You see me smile, the back of my mind is a frown. I love my fan, but sometimes I want to kill I hate the feeling, but I'm being true to my feelings. We all got demons, we all got angels. Third zodiac, so I'm living both angles. I love my city, but wanna get the fuck away. I love my job, but I still quit today. I had a girl until I cheated yesterday. I thought it was love till it all turned to hate. I told the truth, though my truth was a lie. I love my life so much, but contemplating suicide. My therapist getting pissed cause I don't open up. In the back of my mind, I just wanna, uh, I'm feeling stuck. But my spirit stay evolving. I told her that she wifey, but she rebound and it's rhyming. I'm going six to six like I was Michael Jordan. I'm broke as fuck, but still living like I'm fucking balling. Now look at who's calling. Gemini on the line, look at who's calling uh, Can never make up his mind uh, A Gemini on the line, look at who's calling uh, Can 
never make up, up his mind. mind. Uh, depression, suicide, and anxiety. Mixed with lack of faith, my nigga, that's what's killing me. Success and health mixed with wealth is what I'm trying to see. I'm trying to put the world on the lip in any dream. By any means, your future's what you choose it to be. I'm writing minds at the same time, writing rhymes. These dreams are manifested, intuition, don't neglect it. I always come correct, auto type on your set. I used to feel pain, but when bones in the rain, but now it's sunshine, and I'm numb to the pain. Insane in the brain, I'm from Cypress Hills. Delightful thrills when I smoke it high as hills. Tonight I chill, and I chill in peace. Rolling up and take a shot, y'all, I rest in peace. To my pops and my grandpops, I miss them so damn much. Before I see them again, I gotta get my dreams out. Uh, now look at who's calling. Gemini on the line, look at who's calling uh, uh, Could never make up his mind uh, A Gemini on the line, look at who's calling uh, A Gemini in his prime well, uh, I don't know what that was about, but that was Perez with Gemini. <laughs> Some hip hoppy rap thing. Hippy hoppy rap. Which is uh, yeah. not our usual bag, but still interesting nonetheless. An interesting bag nonetheless. Yeah. Maybe as interesting as why you would milk a cat. I'll say, teach me how to milk a cat, please, Ted. Okay. Well, I'm not. Well, not I mean, I'm not going to give you the sort of nuts and bolts of it. Step, you can, step you, by step. You can probably imagine, but... Um, <laughs> step yeah. by step guide. <laughs> yeah. So we'll make a video tutorial. According to the, according to the internet, on various questioning sites, yeah. yes, you can milk a cat. Uh, there's a, there was quite a long story, but I won't bore you with it all. But basically it starts... The, the answer to the question, can you milk a cat? Uh-huh. The answer is, it depends. Why would you want to milk her in the first place? Mm. Well, that's... Yeah, that's, that's a, good, a good question. That's a good follow-up question. But anyway, it goes on to say they started... Um, Basically milking their cat beca- <laughs> because because her um, um, her teats were a bit uh, swollen. Right. Um, anyway, it goes on to say during the following days they made a habit of milking their cat once or twice a day to keep the milk from accumulating and swelling right. up her breasts. Every time I did, she would lie down on the bed, expose her belly, and take a nap while I do it. A couple of days later, I guess her body finally adjusted and she stopped producing milk. Right. So basically, they drained their cat. Mm. So was it walking around like a shriveled fruit afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if your cat is in a similar situation as mine, I guess this is a legit reason to milk her. If not, then you probably shouldn't, since you might deprive her uh, her kittens from the milk they need. True. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm assuming in that particular circumstance that. Kittens had been adopted or something. You no, know. the kittens were about, but I don't think they took to the milk. Or it was something like that. Oh, okay. But, but anyway, that, obviously there's that, been an accumulation of... That does answer that age-old question of can you milk a cat? So we've ascertained that. We've can, ascertained that. Can you milk a beaver? On the same basis, I would say yes. Okay. I don't know if they would take to it. Right. But yes, you can. <laughs> um... Good uh, luck milking that big cat. Good luck <laughs> milking a cat. So you asked about Yakult. Yes. Is that made from yak's milk? Is it made from yak's milk? Well, I looked into this, mm-hmm. and I couldn't quite find the answer. But what I did find is another question that was set online, which is, have you ever milked a yak? Right. And I thought, <laughs> well, I wonder what, whether people have milked a yak and mm. see what, what comes of that. First answer is no. Right. And that was down as the best answer. Not really the best answer, is it? No, that's not the greatest answer no, not in the, the world, no. <laughs> so somebody said, I had an ex-girlfriend I refer to as a yak. Right. I was, <laughs> just, Harsh. <laughs> yeah. I haven't even milked a cow. What makes you think I milked a yak? Right. Yeah, okay. No, but I milked a cow in kindergarten on the field trip to the petting zoo. Their udders feel like boobies. <laughs> 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 And then a slightly bizarre, <laughs> bizarre answer. No, but I have milked a few yanks, Cl- <laughs> cleaned down their bank accounts, and fleeced them for every cent. <laughs> <laughs> nice, good, good skills. Well done. Yeah. Anyway, the well, consensus is that nobody's milked a yak. Okay. But it does happen. Otherwise, we wouldn't have uh, yaks cheese. No, it's fine. Mm. Oh, it's, fine. it's got to happen somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. You know, like you say, it's a mammal. It produces milk. Mm-hmm. Therefore, it can probably be, be milked. What's your favourite cheese? Um, yes. 
cheesy, cheesy cheese. Cheesy cheese. Yeah, cheese that tastes like cheese. Uh, I don't know, I guess cheddar, really. Yeah, it's, I, I haven't really put that much thought into... <laughs> sorry, you, you... You don't you, have to put thought into that. You What's came, your favourite cheese? You came at me at left field with that one. I wasn't yeah, really I prepared for it. Um, yeah. I guess cheddar. Yeah, yeah. It's just you know, nice mild cheddar. Yeah. Because it melts nicely when you make cheese on toast. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Um, Wensleydale. Wensleydale. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's horse of course. Uh, it's horse milk for horses. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. I, there's lots of different types of cheese. There and is. They've all got different uses. Yes. Do you like halloumi? I like halloumi, yeah. Yeah. Squeaky cheese. Do you like, like Cheshire cheese? I don't know if I've ever tried Cheshire right, it's cheese. It's kind of white and crumbly. It's uh, quite nice. It's like when, so Wensleydale's like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. White, that sort of white thing. crumbly cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, I like that kind of stuff, yeah. And uh, Red Leicester. Yeah, like that. I had a cat that liked Red Leicester. Right. His name was Chester. Okay. Yeah. Those are rhyming words. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? Um, Today's show is sponsored by the sound <laughs> Esther. <laughs> um, and if you can milk Esther, you're a winner. <laughs> anyway. Don't let it fester. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was yeah, good. Yeah. I wasn't sure. But I thought I'd put it out as a tester. <laughs> um, God. <laughs> Back to milk. Oh dear, I've gone a little bit lightheaded now. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some milk. Wait, you need some milk. <laughs> camembert. Camembert is one of my favourites. Now, I'm, I have baked, a love hate relationship. Baked camembert. Yeah, see, I like it, but it has a weird aftertaste. I. Don't know about that. But what I do know is, all I can think about now is baked camembert. Yeah? Mm. 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 Yeah. I'd like to take a lead. I think baked camembert's got a weird aftertaste. Yeah. But, you know, I, I like your usual, like, say, cheddar, red Leicester, Edam. Yeah. Stilton. Um, do you like blue cheese? I'm not a fan of Stilton, no. Really? Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. It just doesn't taste quite right to me. Okay. But, you know, I like your standard stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, Gouda. I quite like Gouda. Yeah. It's called um, Gouda. Yeah. I'm looking in the mirror every morning, looking good. Yeah. Edam? Yeah, like e- Edam, yeah. yeah. Um, that's all I can really think of. Baby Bells. Yeah, that's Edam. Yeah. Oh, you can get cheddar baby bells now. Can you? You can. Mm. You can. Oh, my God, hang on. I know this is good. Google. This... Yeah. I'm Googling this. I was oh. excited. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, it's actually quite nice cheddar. Is it? Yeah, I got some and I ate them. I know, nice. it made me happy. And you didn't save any for me, you heartless <laughs> person. <laughs> It wasn't today. I think it was in Cornwall. Cheddar Baby Bell. Mm. Here we go. Mini ch- Tesco groceries. Yeah. Mini Baby Bell Cheddar 112. Oh, they're purple. Yeah. Right, I now know what I'm looking for. Yeah. I know what I'm doing when I go in tonight. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> cheddar Baby Bell. Yeah, Cheddar Baby Bells are a thing, listeners, so make sure that you go out and buy some. Yes. And then uh, tell ched- ch- tell Baby Bell that you got the idea from us, and yes. then they can give us some money. That's right. So yeah. Free advertising and yeah. all that, you know. We're sponsored by Baby Bell. Yeah. Ba 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 Baby Bell. Ba 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 Baby Bell. Oh Baby Bell, get in my face. Baby Bell. Uh, right. I'm glad you didn't tell the wax on wax off um joke again. I was thinking about it, but I thought I couldn't remember whether it was this podcast or the other one where I used it, so I thought yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll hold yeah, off. Yeah, this one, yeah. Um, but yeah, where, what, <clears throat> how does Mr. Miyagi have his baby button? <laughs> <laughs> wax on, wax off. Anywho. Uh, you told it anyway. Right, yeah. Let's, let's, have, some, let's, let's have some more music. Sure. Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. What have we got? It's yours. I know it's mine. I haven't got a page <laughs> Get on with up. it. All right. Get on with oh, it. Oh, now it's Debbie Grupp. It is Debbie Grupp. Debbie Grupp Grup with Turn of Fate. Here we go.
very special prize. And that was Debbie Grupp with Turn of Fate. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't yeah. expecting that, were you? No, I wasn't. Ah, ah, that was a turn of fate. Yeah. Mm. Yes, indeed. Good, good, good. Yeah. So what about then? Mm-hmm. What about nut milk? Nut milk. Mm. Nut milk. Nut milk. How many different types of nut milk are there? Because we no discussed um, nut butters on, yes, a, on a previous episode, didn't we? Yes, we did. Because um, we were talking about, um, uh, what was it, peanut butter and... Almond butter Almond and butter. walnut butter and... yeah. Hazelnut butter. And I was really excited, and Mm. then I subsequently have not bought any, eaten any, or anything. Me neither. No. So so is it good that we practice what we preach, right? (laughs) Sure. So I'm going to have to go to Tesco now. Other supermarkets are available. Um, And to be fair, I'm going to be going to another supermarket, not Tesco. You're a Waitrose man. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) He's a Waitrose man. Ho, 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 ho. (laughs) Uh, And get some nut butters. Yep. Hmm. (laughs) <laughs> I just can't help but laugh nut butter and um, and baby bells I've gone light headed again <laughs> it's all that nut butter I'm sorry, it's all that, all that nut butter you've been having obviously anyway what, what's, what is there what's so, available I know almond milk is a thing yeah quite a popular thing as well but I'm pretty sure you can get nut milk from almost any so anything the way you can get a nut butter yeah you can get a milk from it as well because obviously the butter is made from milk is it not um or maybe they've kind of reversed the process to to make milk well, no, out no, of no. the butter I don't no, really no, know no cuz you're adding no no those things are adding butter to the nuts that no, nuts. It's, all, it's all made from the oils and stuff, isn't it? Isn't it? But it's butter, isn't it? No, not as far as oil. I'm sure they put butter in. I don't. I have no idea. How do you make nut butter? I don't know. You you, you milk the nuts and <laughs> I don't you know. Don't, you don't milk nuts. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to Google this one then. Hang on, hang on. You can't milk a nut if you can't milk a, a... how to make peanut butter. You can you can only just milk a pig. Mm. <laughs> you can't milk a nut. Place peanuts yeah. in a food processor, turn the food processor on and let it run for four to five minutes. During this time, you'll yeah. see the peanuts go in stages from crumbs to a dry ball to a smooth, creamy liquid. Oh. Stir in sugar, honey and salt if you want. Mm-hmm. There you go. That's, oh. how, that's how you make peanut butter. So there's no butter in it? There's no butter in it. I didn't think there was butter in it. There's no butter in peanut butter? No. Oh. I didn't think it was a dairy product. No. Oh, no, I suppose not. So, anyway, what kind of non-dairy milks or... Can As I, I would say, not a milk, are there? <laughs> nut, nut a milk. <laughs> nut, nut a milk. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a look. Uh, so, not milks. N- not milks. <laughs> uh, let's have Oat milk. List of nut milks. I'm already there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oat milk. Cashew nut milk, coconut milk, hazelnut milk. Hazelnut milk. Almond milk. Yeah, I see. That's what I mean. Almond milk, I think, is quite a popular one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, cashew milk, coconut milk, hazelnut milk. Well, maybe that's all there is. Yeah. Soy milk. That's not made from nuts, though, is it? It's made from beans. Is it? Yeah. So- uh, soybeans. Yeah, soybeans. Soybeans. Um, soy milk, is, which is where the soy boys come from. Soy boys. What's a soy boy? A soy boy. Um, I don't know. We ought to we ought to find a definition for that. Okay. Um, find a definition for it. I'm on it. Okay. What is a soy boy? Are we running hemp milk? Hemp milk? Yes, that's also a thing. Oh. But then there's a hemp everything, isn't there? I was going to say, isn't hemp like drugs or something? Yeah, hemp milk is um, milk of mm. the hemp variety. Yes. <laughs> I don't really know what hemp I is. I, I, no, I thought I hemp was something you made bags yeah, out of. Yeah, no, hemp is something that... That's hessian, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I was going to say, I'm not a, a drug person. No, I don't really know. No, so. no. But I think I think there's a lot of hemp stuff, I think, because they like to say, oh, look, you know, you can make a, a, a bag or a basket or, a, you know, life support machine out of hemp. Mm. So therefore, the drug must be okay. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway, you can make cashew milk, flax milk. Flax milk. From fla- yeah. Flaxseed, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Seedy milk. Um, yeah, here we go. Soy boy. I found the. Uh, the oh, the, right. yeah. So from the Urban Dictionary, mm-hmm. uh, slang used to describe males who completely and utterly lack all necessary masculine qualities. This pathetic state is usually achieved <laughs> by an overindulgence <laughs> of emasculating products and or ideologies. Mm-hmm. The origin of the term derives from the negative effects soy consumption has been proven to have on the male physique and libido. <laughs> Right. The average soy boy is a feminist, non-athletic, and has never been in a fight. Will probably marry the first girl that he has sex with, <laughs> and likely reduces all arguments to labelling the opposition as Nazis. <laughs> so, 
Stop eating soy products, you weirdos. I know. That uh, is a good definition. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I don't know, I don't know when, where, the, where the feminist bit comes in. I say, but I didn't even realise. So it says the origin of the term derives from the negative effect soy consumption has been proven to have on male mm. physique and libido. Is that mm. true? Um, this is Urban Dictionary. Yeah. Yeah. So... I take that with a pinch of salt. Yeah, pinch they, of they, salt probably even ha- they probably wouldn't even have a pinch of salt. Yeah. No. See also, cook beta, <laughs> beta slash omega male, yeah. orbiter, kissless virgin, or male <laughs> feminist. <laughs> now, we, we here at the Tuesday show do not condone any forms of uh, social stereotyping. No. Um, but that's quite funny. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you know anybody who's like that, you know, just be nice to them. Because Cle- yeah. clear, clearly they need extra help. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's soy milk. So, yes, you can have completely fake milk. You can yeah. have pig's milk. You can have yak's milk. I want to try pig's milk. Nobody's ever milked a yak, but you can get yak's milk. Mm. Well, somebody must have milked a yak because you can get yak's cheese. Indeed. So somebody somewhere was melting out. Yeah, but just not the people who are on the internet. Yeah, it's not the people with lives. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh what have we got? Have we got any more music? I think we have some more music. Great. Um, it's time for your classic track, actually. My classic track. Uh, my classic track this week is Rory Glanders with Tomorrow <laughs> Means Nothing. What's that? 
And that's our good friend and friend of the show, Rory Galanders, with Tomorrow Means Nothing. Mm, we we need to get some new stuff from Rory. We do, yeah. He's very busy. Very busy on uh, Instagram. He is. He's always yeah, posting yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, always posting stuff. He's yeah. gigging a lot. Yeah. Um, but we definitely need to yeah, get back in touch. we get some more tracks off him mm. and um, go have a beer. Yeah, indeed. So, I think he owes us a beer, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah I don't know. Did, did we buy him a beer last time? I don't time? know. Probably not. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> more, more let us know you're honest right <laughs> <laughs> anyway keeping with the theme of milk obviously there's one mammal that um, also uh, provides milk mm-hmm. and that's the human ah human beans the human beans and uh, yeah breast um, breast um <laughs> Simply the simply the breast. <laughs> simply the breast. Simply the breast. Better than all the rest. Um, Better than all the rest. So some people make milk. Uh, not milk. Um, um, what's it called? Yogurt. Not yogurt. What's the other thing? Cheese. Cheese. No, not cheese. Yakult. Yogurt. No, not yakult. Um, milk. Yogurt. Milk. I don't know. Bread pudding. Something. But people, <laughs> people make stuff out of uh, human milk. Really? Yes. Is that a thing? It is a thing. Gross. Yes. Um, Although I say that, yeah, I yeah, obviously, you know, when when I was a child, you know, an infant, yeah, you know, not notwithstanding, yeah, um, I've never tried breast milk, so I have no idea what it's like. No, apparently it's very sweet. Okay, yeah, is it is that sweet as in sweet, <laughs> or or sweet as in you know, like it tastes like chocolate or something? Yeah, yeah, it tastes like not like chocolate milk. <laughs> chocolate milk. I mean, I'll say this. Chocolate. <laughs> I've got chocolate on one side, I've got strawberry on the other. What do you want? <laughs> Mix it up, give it a bit of a milkshake. <laughs> 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 oh dear! Well, I have heard some funny stories. We'll come. We'll come to the funny stories. Oh, okay, yeah, I'd like. It. <laughs> uh, thankfully, thankfully, after twenty-five episodes, and we're finally going to come to the funny stories. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut your face! <laughs> um, but yeah, no. It, obviously, obviously, there's um, a great deal of milk that comes from uh, the human. Yes. Um, uh, I, I I saw there was um, there was a joke somebody did on Twitter and I was mm. trying to remember what it was and I, I found it and this was from uh, somebody who calls themselves Ghost Mom, okay, who says uh, people who are offended when I breastfeed in public need to stfu. Mm. What I'm doing is natural and it strengthens the bond between me and my dog. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What the? <laughs> anyway, um, so that's um, <laughs> no. That's... Whoa, 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 whoa! You can't just say that and then move on. You can because it was a joke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was sorry. I thought that was a genuine thing. Oh, I'm like, no, no, whoa, no, 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 no. hang on. But do you know what? It wouldn't surprise me. And there's probably some soy boy going, "Oh yeah, bravo on you, sister." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, the, so, so, the thing is, right? So yeah. there, there's this whole thing about breastfeeding in public. Oh, here we um, go. Gonna be controversial. I know. I'll get I'll get the machine out. The bleep yeah, get machine. the bleep machine ready. Yeah. No, but genuinely, yeah, I don't care. No, nobody cares. Who actually cares about? Nobody cares this about lots of things. So why is it still a new? Why is it still a thing? Why do people still talk about it? Why Why do people still make a big thing about it? Because because it's not a big thing. You no. breastfeed in public. Fine. Off you go. Yeah, I don't absolutely. care. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah. You're feeding a child. Yeah. You know that absolutely. child needs food. Yeah. That's just the way it is. Yeah. You know. It's not like you're taking, you know, t- taking your whaps out and whacking people around the face with them. You no, know? absolutely. If you if you want to breastfeed in public, then that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I expect unbroken eye contact and winking from me. <laughs> but yes, you can breastfeed in public. <laughs> you thought I was the one that was going to be controversial. <laughs> wow. Wowie. Let's uh, move on. Let's uh, move on swiftly. So there was something you, you wanted to talk about. So I've heard loads of stories, right, about yeah. um, you know, pregnant women um and obviously as they you know, they start producing milk and they start lactating. Oh right. And apparently, um <laughs> I heard this from I won't say where it's come from, because you know, just in case they do listen. But okay. I heard that um, you know, like when this person that I I knew, when their mum was pregnant, mm-hmm. she'd like be able to like shoot milk across the room. Really? Just by giving her boobs a quick squeeze like that. She'd be like that. Right, yeah. It'd be like lasers out of the Death Star or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's really funny. Yeah. I never saw it myself. No. Now, I did ask for a demonstration, but yeah. I, I got told to leave the room pretty quickly. So, <laughs> you can't win them all. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> uh, moving swiftly on. Should we just wrap up, shall we? We, we can wrap up. Wrap up warm. Wrap up warm. Wrap up warm. But don't forget to leave one party set out for... 
feeding. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking motorboating. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Milk. Hey, listeners, uh, if you like your milk, what's your favourite milk? Do you like yak's milk? Are you a fan of a cow? Are you into goat? What, what's, what's your favourite milk? Is it soy milk? Have we insulted you? Good. Is it breast milk? Are you a, a wee baby? Um, sure, baby's going to text him like, yeah, love, breast, love me some breast milk. <laughs> love me some breast milk, ga, ga, ga. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, that's what, what Popeye. Ga, 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 Give me some breast milk, Olive. <laughs> um, let's wrap up. Shall let's we? wrap up. and um, With our last track of the day. Yeah. Which is, again, brand new for the show. This is Shedizer. Is it Shedizer? Is it Shedizer? Shedizer. Shedizer. A track called Tonight. Tonight.
That was episode 25 of The Tuesday Show. And don't forget to go to Twitter to catch us at Tuesday underscore podcast on Instagram and Facebook at The Tuesday Show Podcast. You can find Ted on all the platforms by searching at Ted James Media and the same for myself by searching for at CJ Brooks FM. And you can also email us CJ and Ted at the Tuesday Show dot co dot UK. But that's it. 25 episodes we've done. 25 I can't believe episodes. It. Amazing. Amazing. But that's it. I'm CJ Brooks. He's Ted James. We're going for milk now. Milk. Milk. And we'll catch you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye, Milk. Goodbye, Milk. Goodbye, Milk. Goodbye, Milk. Hello, happiness. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, do you know what we didn't talk about? What? We didn't talk about monkeys. No, we didn't. Monkey milk. Monkey, monkey milk. Monkey milk. If you milk a monkey, if you, it, if you milk Coco the monkey, Coco the monkey, does it turn the? Um, and what was the other thing? Does the milk come out chocolatey? What was the other thing? Uh, uh, if you milk a, oh, if you milk a rabbit, <laughs> if you milk a rabbit, no, does it make it, Nesquik? Nesquik. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shame. dear, shame. Hey, next time. Yeah, next next. <laughs> we'll talk about it on the next episode. Yeah. That's fine. Um, or, or we'll just use this as a, as a stinger. Uh, Bye, listeners. Bye.